Hi guys, it's Colette and today I just have a quick haul for you. I was going to combine this with some Colors by La Roe hauls that I haven't recorded yet, but then I decided I should record it before I take this manicure off since it uses one of the colors that's in this haul and I've had it on for several days and I do also have a chip here so I'm about to take it off literally as soon as I finish recording it. Uh, this manicure is topped with The Magician and as you can see by the bottle here the brand is ILNP. I love nail polish and this is actually the first time I've purchased this brand and I really like it a lot. Um, I think I mentioned at some point that this may be a quote-unquote problem. The problem being that now I want all of their polishes. And I do also really like the packaging. The, the bottles come in this nice kind of matte black box with the silver lettering. And then the bottle just slides in there so you can see that right through the little heart, which I think is adorable. And sometimes that presents a little bit of a dilemma because it's like, I like the boxes, but do I really want to keep all the boxes and store my polish in the boxes? I really haven't decided about that yet. And I also, if I can kind of just squeeze this in here and show you guys this label that was on the uh, shipping box, even that is holographic, which I thought was... A really nice touched. Most of the other colors that I got from them are holographic. This is their Color Kissed Ultra Hollow Spring Collection. And the first one I'm going to show you guys is Easy Street. This is kind of a kind of a turquoise leaning blue and very pretty and super all of these are super holographic. Sometimes I feel like that doesn't come across and as much on camera as I would like, but I'm going to try and get these bottles all at different angles so you can see. The next one of that collection is Rosewater, and this is like a pink, like a dusty, really pretty pink holographic, and this is one of the colors that really originally piqued my interest when I saw a swatch of it on Instagram, and... I was thinking about just buying that, but you guys know my rule with uh, free shipping, which is, if it's reasonable, buy enough to get free shipping. So I gave in and got the whole collection. Next here we have Spring Bouquet, which is more of a green, not a, not a dark green. All these are very spring tones of the color, but kind of almost a minty green. Then we have chit chat which is more of a lavender also very pretty when i saw swatches of this one on instagram this is another one of the ones that really kind of piqued my attention here we have full moon this is another blue one this one is more of a of a blue blue than a turquoise blue and here i'll just stick easy street in right next to it so you can get kind of a comparison you can see that this one is leaning more turquoise and this one is leaning more true blue. And then the last one of the collection is Sunday Brunch, which is kind of more of a gold hollow. Quite a subtle gold, actually. And I did go ahead and buy more of a bold gold, and this is from their other spring collection. These, instead of being kind of kissed by color, these are more of an intense color. And this is, and I, I've heard this word pronounced, and I just, for the life of me, I don't know, I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong, wrong uh, Versailles. And you can see that that's a much more intense gold. Still definitely has a holographic shimmer to it, but compared side by side with this uh, color-kissed gold, it's a, a much deeper color, and the other collection, I really was super tempted on that other collection too, but I just, I had to use a little bit of willpower, or I would be broke on their site. Um, and then the last color that I picked up, and I showed you guys this 
in another video because I almost used this for St. Patrick's Day, which shows you how long I've had these and uh, put off recording a haul video, but this is Open Fields. And this is like a duochrome flaky, glittery type of situation going on here. And I just, I, I know this one from showing it in the other video. As pretty as it is, it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times that pretty in person. So you'll just have to take my word on that. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick haul. The next haul is going to be way, way longer because it's like four months of Colors by LaRoe hauls. And let me know if you've tried this brand before, what you think of it, if you have any suggestions for my next haul from them, because I can't see myself not getting some more polish from them. It's just, it's just too pretty. I, I know I won't be able to resist, so I hope you enjoyed, and as always... Thanks for watching.